Well, after months of heavy, difficult news, we begin tonight with a good news story. An especially exciting story for Canadian history buffs. After nearly 170 years and dozens of searches, scientists have located one of the ships from the fabled Franklin Expedition. The mystery of exactly what happened to Franklin's two ships is not solved, but this discovery is a huge piece of the puzzle. Here's how it all began. In May 1845, Franklin and his two ships left England. In July, they stopped briefly in Greenland. By August, the ships reached Baffin Bay. Moving on, the expedition spent the winter on Beachy Island, and then it's presumed that in 1846, the ships sailed down to King William Island. There, they got trapped in the ice. In April 1848, crew members abandoned the ships and set out on foot, heading south. None of them lived. According to Inuit testimony, one ship was spotted west of King William Island, the other farther south. Well, it turned out that Inuit testimony from all those decades ago was bang on. Those Franklin artifacts we told you about last night were found by Nunavut government archaeologists on September 1st. That helped pinpoint a new area for the scientists to intensify their search. They drew lines from the find, and just six days later, the wreck was on their radar, north of O'Reilly Island in the southern Victoria Strait. Here's how they located it. First, they sent down a yellow tubular underwater vehicle. It took sonar, basically mapping out what was down there, and it hit something, a physical object. It took a picture. Could it be? The searchers then sent down a remotely operated underwater vehicle with high resolution cameras. The video they took convinced the scientists they had the wreck of one of the Franklin ships. Those two artifacts turned out to be the key to the ultimate discovery. It's likely that if the Nunavut team hadn't found them back on September 1st, the wreck would not have been found so quickly. Turns out it was only 11 meters below the surface. Franklin died on his ship of some unknown illness. Not a single sailor of the 128 on the expedition survived. Most died of starvation after they abandoned their ships and tried to walk south. Now, for the first time, we might get to know in detail how they found themselves trapped in the ice and how they endured months, even years, in the Arctic.